Just being honest, I'm probably not going to get through all of this tonight, but I'm going to do what I can because, Victoria, this was fucking embarrassing for you. Embarrassing for you. If you don't know the answer to something, just say I don't know because this made you look dumber than a box of rocks. To disclaimer, these are going to be out of order because of the way I edited. Okay? Okay. The paper says recovery of property starts today at 8.45. Recovery of uh, property starts today at 8.45. I'm sure by now everybody's seen that document. What that was said recovery of property hearing, Victoria, started at 8.45. I read it said they have 10 days at minimum. But guess what? The judge can grant more. I would assume that no electricity would play a part in that. I don't know. Listen to me. I don't know. Girl, you would have been better off leaving the entire conversation at you don't know. I, I'm just making that clear. Okay, because first of all, there has to now be a writ of possession issued in order for the sheriff to serve her the writ of possession, which is when they would lock the property. Okay, that process could take anywhere between 10 and 90 days. It depends on how busy the court is, okay? So there's still an eviction is a legal process, okay? The hearing began it, right? But there's still several steps here, okay? If she didn't go, I would assume she would get an FTA. I mean, here you would, so I don't know. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that not showing up for an eviction hearing would result in an FTA? Because she said that pretty confidently. Are you sure about that? Should have just kept with it. I don't know. For this entire conversation, Victoria, just being honest, okay? Most times, in cases like this, it just results in a judgment for the plaintiff if the defendant does not show. Hold the fuck on. Okay, so Lisa got herself evicted. Would she have been evicted if a bunch of people didn't call? And do this and do that? Probably not. So, if you're going to say, Elisa got herself evicted, guess what? If something would have happened with the phone call I made, Lisa got herself on a taper. Like, it drives me so crazy. You know what drives me crazy? That smug look on your face when you're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Okay? Because, again, you are comparing two things that are not the same. Do you understand? The clinic is very well aware of Lisa's drug usage, okay? The clinic was not going to be able to help her if she was overdosing on Friday when they would not get your message until Monday, okay? Her being evicted for non-payment of rent for two fucking years is not the same. It's not the same. You really need that smug look to wipe off your face because you say it and you're so fucking wrong, but you think you know it all. I'd like to see where you are in three years, Victoria, because I have a pretty good idea of where it'll be. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm not saying it's because of the troll she got herself in this position. Again, do you listen? Uh, that's weird because you said that it was because of phone calls. If you want to rewind about 40 seconds, you'll hear it. Everybody jumped my shit for calling the clinic because I was worried that she had taken way too much of her medicine at the same time. Oh, you're going to cause her to go on an SSI taper. Oh, this could be her last blah, blah, blah. They're just going to drop her on her face. And I'm sitting here going, if my phone call does that, that's bad. That's really bad. No, my phone call at the very least would make her have a urinalysis. And then your urinalysis will cause the taper. Not what Victoria said. So that would be Lisa's fault, right? But everybody else said it was my fault. I don't think you don't get it either. Because you keep trying to throw these things out there that qu quite literally no one said. Okay? The urinalysis is, is she's getting it anyway. So what the fuck are you talking about? Clinics, UA people, every week, at least once a week, random UAs. Okay? Nobody said your phone call was going to cause a UA. Are, are you, like, not getting it? Is, is that the problem? You said you did it because you knew she overtook her medicine, which you did not know. 
That's first of all. You did it because you said you were worried about her. Because of the condition that she was in. I will ask you again, Victoria. What the fuck was the clinic going to do on Monday if she was overdosing Friday? Just answer that question. The judgment amount was $8,024.50. And that's court costs and everything. I want to know how you got $8,000. I'm going to include right behind this clip the screenshot that you showed during your live, which absolutely said $6,000. Okay, let's read it one more time for the people in the back. Claim amount. Six or five thousand seven hundred and ninety two dollars and seventy five cents. Judgment amount eight thousand twenty four dollars and fifty cents. Because the judgment amount covers fines and court fees. That clip right there that tells me all I need to know about you, right? Because you got fucking nasty. And then you noticed in the fucking screenshot that you were wrong, okay? And instead of just saying, you know what, I'm sorry, this actually does say 6000 you fucking doubled down and talked to that chat the way you did when you were fucking wrong. You could literally see it in your fucking face when you realize that you were wrong, but then you have the fucking audacity to sit there with that smug fucking look on your face. You're no better than Lisa. Victoria, not now, not then. What's wrong when I read off that amount a second ago? That's my fucking point. What's yours? I want to know why the screenshot that you showed in this live says 6,000. You read off 8,000 and then gave the people in your chat that fucking tone. Maybe that's a part of the problem, Victoria. Maybe you don't necessarily admit when you're wrong either.